Tuesday 29th of August 2021 Day 4 of our uh, tour of Scotland or South West Scotland I should say and we're on our way home now uh, It's 10.37 and we are on the uh, yeah, this road uh, heading toward Keswick uh, left the digs about quarter past nine this morning uh, had a lovely stay with uh, with Jim and his wife Christine made us absolutely, we couldn't believe how, how welcome they made us uh, the hospitality was brilliant and uh, we're, uh, we're fitting the Lake District on our way home and just look at that over there just look at that, absolutely glorious and so uh, yeah we're, uh, there's still a few little sites uh, around uh, the Lake District. There will be whistle stops. We, uh, we're not, we're not dwelling, but we're just going to go and have a quick look. Uh, managed to pass, we should be doing up to the slate bar. We're going to have uh, a start putting here. Up on the pass, we're going to have a little look at Windermere, a little look at Coniston, and then uh, we'll head over to the M6 and head home. So. Uh, yeah, it's been an absolutely brilliant four days. Uh, sad to be going home. Uh, but uh, the, the adventure's not over yet because we're over. We're heading over into the Bear Hill. And uh, I'd say it's just been, uh, it's been absolutely awesome. And uh, Kevin Al and Paul have now experienced uh, Scotland or South West Scotland. And I think they're in awe of it that, uh, that me and Brian are now. It's a place that I can go back time and time and time again just to ride those amazing roads up there. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I'm so pleased we managed to get a trip in this year and all the uh, shenanigans of the last 18 months. Uh, we've done something, we've, uh, we've got back into our stride now because I thought we'd lost it a little bit. Uh, we'll, it, we'll be back with it and uh, we're planning bigger things for next year. The, uh, the, the uh, NC500 is uh, something we want to have a look at doing next year. And then uh, we'll, re we'll revisit our plans to do the Wild Atlantic Way in 2023. So uh, everything is uh, hopefully back on track for doing the things we love now, which is getting out on our bikes, riding them and, and just getting into the glorious countryside. And, uh, it's uh, something I'll never ever get bored with seeing. And, uh, and, the, and the thing as well with us coming into the Lake District is the uh, it's starting to brighten up as well. It's a bit gloomy and overcast this morning when we left. Uh, but it's, uh, it's brightening up by the looks of the head. So stick around uh, if you're interested in uh, a whistle stop visit.
Fred. <laughs> Bloody hell. Now that's what you call a hill. <laughs> wow, Zach. I don't know if the GoPro did that justice, but that was some gradient, that was 25%. This gradient here, 20%. One in five. <laughs> Up there was one in four. New cyclists have got some uh, kahunas. That's for certain. How was that then? <laughs> we'll stop. Uh, we'll stop down the road. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have a look for a petrol station now. Okay.
It's alright mate. Look at that quick stop. What's that? Is it holding up? Yeah. So to keep an eye. Nah, keep an eye on it. And, uh, Main thing is, is now I know it's there. Try and hit the bike up right as possible. Yeah. Lately I've been banking it over. That's where it's all green. No, it's blooming motorway now, mate. So. How's that chap with him? Has he done right? Yeah, he's uh, a. Yeah. yeah. So I'll stop at the uh, the petrol station. Yeah. Has anybody got one light on? It's that's how it's meant to be. Yes. Yeah, so he had his headlights on one minute, but he turned it off. I thought he could do that. Yeah. Yeah, he went main beam is two. Yeah, so I'm certainly had me wear out of him, haven't I? <laughs> and you just. You know, whatever, I'll definitely keep me straight up on um, Joe's <laughs> though. to uh, to visit me dad who lives up in a uh, lovely little market town of uh, of Garstang in Lancashire he's uh, he's 86 years old and he's looking uh, looking blooming good for his age he's looking good uh, so it's lovely to see him and uh, now I'm heading home it's just me and Bri, Kev, Hal and Paul because I was popping in to see me dad and, you know, you carry on home and uh, rather than hang around for me Brian stayed with me so it's the uh, final leg of the journey the uh, the slog of the M6 is uh, it's just me and Brian now so, uh, off we go Really a lot of summing up to do. I think I've already done it on uh, the earlier comments. It's been uh, a superb four days. Um, it's been, you know, thoroughly enjoyable. Loved every minute of it. And uh, sadly, it's over for another year. Um, we'll see what next year has in store. Uh, NC500 and uh, that will be with Kev, Helen, Paul and Bry uh, and then whatever we end up doing with Paul I suspect with Paul it might be that we come and do the new Galloway and all that again and uh, that suits me because I, uh, I could ride those roads endlessly they're so good um, so that will be next year I think and then in the meantime there will be lots of little short yeah, rides out here and there as we always do and maybe a little mini some mini tours of Wales where um, where's the caravan is the base so, um, lots of uh, lots of things in store for the coming year uh, chuffed a bit with the bike um, couldn't have asked for anything better than uh, and how it's performed it's been brilliant, absolutely love it not much to say really in summing up uh, if you've watched the uh, the series of videos I uh, hope you enjoyed them um, please subscribe if you like the channel and you, and you like the content please subscribe and, uh, and you know, give us a thumbs up if uh, if you like what you're seeing and, and comments are always welcome I do try to respond to all comments that I make that are made um, so um, if you have watched to the end thank you for watching uh, so I, uh,
please feel free to subscribe, leave a like, and, uh, and do leave a comment. And, uh, see you all again soon.